welcome to my channel if you like my videos then kindly subscribe like and watch thank you problem 4.16 the statement of problem is the beam shown is made up of nylon for which allowable stress is 24 megapascal in tension and 30 megapascal in compression determine the largest couple m that can be applied to the beam so this is the cross section of beam you can see the uh, dimensions of this beam and the you have to find the allowable movement so compression is given as 30 megapascal you have stressed tension that is 24 mega pascal the problem is same just like the previous problem 4.13 so we have to find the moment and this moment will be equal to stress into y divided by uh, sorry stress into i moment of inertia divided by y so again we have to find the uh, position of centroidal axis so for that I have to uh, divide this structure into two component this is one and this is two so I will write one two its area its y naught and then a, the product of area into y naught bar so if you look at this so the area will be 15 into 40 which is equal to 600 millimeter square so that is 600 now the position from this reference line to the mid of this so that is total is 30 and this is 7.5 from this point to this point this is 7.5 so this will be 22.5 so that is 22.5 millimeter now for two portion this is its width and this is its height so width is 20 and this height is 15 because 15 and 15 is total 30 that is given so when you multiply by 15 with 20 so that will be equal to 300 now its distance from this reference axis will be at half of 15 that is 7.5 so I will write 7.5 over here. Now the, the product of these two will give you 13.5 into 10 is to power 3. And the product of these two will give you 2.25 into 10 is to power 3. Now sum of area of 1 and 2 will give you 900 square millimeter. And the sum of product of area into y naught will give you 15.75 into 10 raised to power 3. Now, uh, this the position of centroidal, centro, uh, centroidal axis for this beam can be found by using this formula A into Y naught divided by product of uh, by, divided by sum of area. So 15.75 into 10 raised to power 3 divided by 900 will give you the value of position of centroidal axis from the base and that's come out to be 17.5 millimeter it means that centroidal axis if i draw this beam like that so total height is 30 and this is 15 So your centroidal axis from the base is somewhere over here. So this distance is 7, why not? Y, sorry, that is 17.5. So this is centroidal axis. So now we will find the Y top. So Y top is the distance from centroidal axis to the topmost. That is Y top and this will be the y bottom so y top is equal to 30 minus 17.5 which is equal to 12.5 mm and we convert into meter that will be equal to 0 0.0125 meter so this is this distance is y top and y bottom 
विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस सेवनटीन पॉइंट फाइव एम विच इज इक्वल टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन सेवन फाइव मीटर सो दिस इज वाई बॉटम एंड दैट इज सेम लाइक दैट बट नेगेटिव साइन बिकॉज डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम सेंट्राइडल टू द प्लेस इज डाउनवर्ड सो दैट्स वाई इट्स नेगेटिव नाउ वी विल फाइंड द मूमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू आई वन प्लस आई टू एस फ्रॉम द अबाउ एंड आई वन इज इक्वल टू हाफ ऑफ वी एच क्यूब प्लस ए डी स्क्वेयर नाउ दैट इज इक्वल टू वन ओवर ट्वेल्व नाउ ब्रेड ऑफ दिस आई वन इज दिस वन and this is equal to 40 mm so i will go downward so 1 over so i have to pick the pens so again pens and we'll go down so that is p is 40 100 40 40 and height is uh, again height is given as 15 mm so that is 15 q plus area of 1 is what that was calculated above is 600 i will show you this is area 600 and now the value of d so this was 15 mm this thickness from this point to this point this was total 15 clear so this is 15 mm and this is Point two five. This distance, this distance is zero point two five. Clear. So, and this is seven point five. This is seven point five. So, when you divide, uh, when you subtract zero point two five from seven point five, this distance will be five mm. So, d will be five mm. Five square. so if you calculate this i1 comes out to be 26.25 into 10 raised to power 3 mm mm power 4 so this is the value of i1 now for i2 we will see i2 is equal to Half of no one over twelve b h q plus a d square. Now that is equal to one over twelve. Total width of these two is that was given above. This is twenty mm. So this is twenty, and height was fifteen plus area of. A two that calculated above was three hundred. Now D, what is D? So this is total fifteen. So that that distance will be zero point seven five. Again, the, if you subtract one seventeen point five, this is the centroidal axis from this to the mid. So seventeen point five minus zero point seven five. So this distance comes out to be. This distance come out to be ten millimeter, so that is equal to ten square. Mm, and the value of I two, when you calculate this, it comes out to be thirty five point six two into ten to the power three mm four. Now for finding the moment of inertia of Whole beam that is equal to I one plus I two, so that is twenty six point two five into ten to the power three plus I two is thirty five point six two into ten to the power three, and the total moment of inertia comes out to be sixty one point eight seven into ten to the power three mm four. And when you convert it into meter, that is sixty-one point eight seven into ten to the power minus nine meter four. So this is the value of moment of inertia. 
now we know that moment is equal to sigma into i divided by y clear so we have given the value of stresses so for compression for compression sigma is given as 30 megapascal 30 megapascal so you can find the moment for compression that is 30 into 10 to the power 6 into i 35.62 no 61.87 61.87 divide by for compression we will take the value of top because the upper portion is in uh, compression so y top is 0 0.125 so 0 0.0125 and the value of movement for compression is 118.8 newton into meter so this is the value of movement for compression now for uh, for tension that is bottom side stress that is given as 24 megapascal 24 megapascal so we will find the moment for this as well that is 24 into 10 raised to power 6 the value of i is 61.87 into 10 raised to power minus 9 and the y bottom that we calculated above was minus uh, 0, 0 0.0175 we are not taking minus because we are taking the absolute value for finding the moment. So if you calculate this, the moment comes out to be 106.1 Newton into meter. So I will write again, this is moment that is 106.1 Newton meter. Now again, we have two moments, moment due to compression that is 1 and moment due to tension that is 2 so for design problem you have to take the smallest value of bending moment you have to take smallest bending moment so that will be allowable moment so that bend allowable moment is here 1.106.1 newton meter so this is the allowable moment that can be applied to this beam so this is 106.1 newton meter thank you for watching the video if you like kindly subscribe my channel